guys and welcome back to the sims 3 runaway teen challenge so it is snowflake day today and she does want to throw a gift giving party which i don't think will be a problem if we just invite you know our teen friends i don't know if we're gonna actually have space for it to be completely honest like i don't think we're going to be able to but we can give it a shot so one of you guys told me to bring all the plants in and as long as the arrows are like facing forward we should be okay well i left the trees outside because we just don't have enough space we just don't uh i moved the staircase over there's a couple of plants up here. Oh, and there's some puke. So why don't we go ahead and clean that up as well? So I'm pretty sure all the kids know how to walk and talk. We just need to get the potty training done. So we're going to make sure Salem gets some food in just a moment. I did play a day off if I didn't say that already. Like we just, oh, are you gonna, you're going to drop it, aren't you? You're going to drop it. I know you're going to drop it. What are you doing? Oh, you're waiting for the cat. Okay, I was going to say, you're going to freaking drop it straight on the ground. I can already tell. All right, you're coming over to eat your food. No problem. But we need to come over here and make sure Salem is not starving. And I have the two of them all. They're actually playing together. I was having them kind of build their friendship, but they're doing that on their own. So that is perfect. So they're all friends, which is really great. I just hope Draco gets his life together. And it's funny because a lot of you guys are like, I think he's mostly focusing on his school, which I agree. He is focusing really hard on his school because he does want to make sure that, you know, he's going to graduate and be able to have a decent job to hopefully, you know, take care of his entire family and stuff like that. So hopefully that is the deal. And, you know, there's nothing else behind it because that would really freaking suck because I know that she cares about Draco a lot and it just sucks that he's kind of let us down so many times. But, you know, we're going to just have to see how it goes. We're going to go ahead and take out the trash and it's really, I just, I really don't think we're going to have space for, I don't think we're going to have space for a um, gift giving pile. I mean, we can try, but I just really don't think it's going to happen, to be honest, because this is such a small house. Okay. All right. Why don't we come over here and we're going to smoke the box, clean the box, feed the bees and harvest the honey. I know, honey. I know. We're going to see if we can potty train you since you're, you know, just chilling like a villain. We'll see if we can potty train you. I'm not sure how far uh, they are in the potty training because I did potty train a little bit, but, you know, they're not, like, super close, I don't think. Could be wrong. Could absolutely be wrong. All right. I don't know who was calling her, but... If it was someone inviting us to a party, we obviously couldn't. Yesterday was actually prom and she tried to go to prom and I was like, girl, no. Girl, we can't do that, don't you know? I felt so bad, but she wanted to go. All right, let's see. What is our quality now? It's great quality, which is perfect. And I had her... Oh, I wanted to see how, how good this quality is really quickly. Um, I just had her really check it once a day, so it wasn't too bad. So as long as she at least checks it once a day, I think we'll be okay. Um, so that is pretty good. We're actually doing great on money. I'm not concerned about money whatsoever because we're, like I said, we're doing really well. We just don't have a lot of, like, space and there's nothing we can do. Like, we just have to survive on this lot. That's all we can do. And I'm still not going to put in windows because I just feel like for her safety and her being found out, you know, like, we don't want anyone, like, peeking in your windows. So I'm just gonna leave this house probably without windows and it's just gonna be, be this, like, little boxy, crappy, crappy thing that it is but you know it is what it is so let's go ahead and try to throw a party and see if we can throw a gift giving party I really don't think we're gonna have the space but we can at least spend time with our friends so we're gonna try to do a gift giving party and it'll be casual attire Sammy is a teen and then we've got these two like that's all we know. Like, that's it. So, we can invite Sammy. So, let me see. Oh, uh, there isn't enough room in your home to put a gift pile. You better clear some space before the guests, guests arrive. So, I'm trying to think. Okay, we definitely don't have space to build an igloo. What could we move? Could we maybe... Oh, I don't want to, like... I don't want to sell it. Can we put 
this in our inventory? Can we put plants in our inventory? We can't. Can I put them out here for the moment? And see if we can maybe have some space out here. Maybe move this outside. Just because, like, there's an open space, you know? Um, maybe we'll plop these back outside for now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Put that outside. And we're just going to see if this will help and then we can like kind of place things around the gift pile and if not whatever we're still gonna see our friends it's not that big of a deal um but I was just kind of hoping that we'd be able to actually have a gift giving party because you know that could really help us out a heck of a lot so let's go see if we can continue our painting I don't even know if our friends are gonna show up so this could be like really bad because so far I'm not seeing one and I don't see a gift pile. Oh, somebody's here. Somebody's here. All right. I don't see anything about a gift pile though. So I don't think we're going to actually have, oh, <gasps> yay. Okay. We are. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to kind of leave it as it is and we can bring the plants in later. What are you doing? You're scaring me. What just happened? Oh, you're tearing up the paper. Okay. I don't need you to do that to me. Like you really, truly scared me. <laughs> I thought my cat was like dying out there. That truly freaking scared me. So what did you bring? You brought some nachos. Boy, we're putting that in the fridge. Can we, can we put that away? Oh, oh my God. They're all coming. Yay. Let's put away leftovers just because. Oh, everybody came. Our three friends decided to come and join us. Yes, we could probably put the table back here I mean it's only one it's only a one seater you guys but <laughs> at least somebody won't have to sit on the toilet trying to eat so let's see what we can do here all right do we have mail uh we do have bills so go ahead and get the bills and the mail Draco are you gonna actually are you gonna actually show some interest in your children this will be a damn miracle it really will it real oh no you're gonna you're gonna hang out with your sister <laughs> that's what he's gonna do he's just gonna chill and talk to his sister I just kind of want to see um oh we got our copper back and oh my god Draco I cannot contain my feelings any longer I am madly in love with you wow <gasps> he loves us you guys oh my goodness oh my goodness what is this guy doing? Listen to complaint. No, we don't want to complain. Like, we don't want to listen to you complain. Let's call everyone to open presents and see what we can get. Let's see what happens here. And then we'll obviously fix our house back to the way it was. But I was really worried about this little present pile. I figured we weren't going to have space. So you're going to really sit right there. Draco's probably not even going to be able to get down the stairs. Oh, okay. He's going to step over her. So no problem. Oh, he gets to. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go pick first. I'm like, what? Okay, good. I was going to say, I think she should be able to pick first. What'd you get? Oh, you got something good. What'd you get? Girl, what'd you get? Oh, you got an umbrella. Oh, you got a sunbane parasol. Okay, perfect. So that's totally perfect. I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, what are you getting, Draco? Cole, you little turd. He got a mirror, it looks like. I am really disappointed, though, you guys, that we didn't have at least one fairy in here. Here, what you get, honey? You got a little coffee machine, it looks like. What you get? Oh, he got, like, a little globe. Okay, so it looks like so far everybody is getting something they like. All right, honey, what you get? She's excited again, so we got something good. A lamp. <laughs> she got a lamp, which is totally fine. All right, Draco. Draco? Jaco? No, Draco. What you get? They're all excited. Oh, he got the plant. It looks like uh, Magic is coming to talk to us. And she got a mistletoe. So it seems like everybody got pretty decent stuff. And it actually, it looks like she's going to come talk to us. Listen, listen. Oh, Shaka brought. Oh, and have hands held. Oh, it looks like one of our honeys sold. I thought we sold everything already. 
so we're gonna go ahead and listen to her because you know we haven't seen our friend in a long time and it's really nice that we can kind of spend some time with our friends and they're all teens and you know we don't have to worry about too much oh they could basically be freaking sisters they are, they act the same. They dress the same. He's coming over to hold her hands. He's being romantic. Our children aren't dying at the moment. So I guess that's pretty good. Um, he's like, listen, bitch, I was just trying to hold her hand. So why don't we go ahead and um, kiss him? Okay, it looks like he's leaving. He's like, I'm really not a part of this. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, let's compliment his appearance and maybe let's see if he wants to stay over for the night and maybe he will help us out. Except he's not gonna be able to stay over because we don't. Oh, oh, she hates it. <gasps> She's hating it. You got. She just. She just straight. She straight up rolled her eyes and walked away. I think she's still hurting. I truly do. I think she's still a little bit upset. Oh, it's kind of sad. It is actually kind of sad that she's a little bit hurt by this. Thanks for inviting me over. I'm really looking forward to spending the night. Okay, well, I'm not sure where you're going to sleep because I didn't think about our bed being a little bit off, but... Okay, we're going to have you use the bathroom and eat some leftover mac and cheese. And I think the kids are doing good. I thought she was coming up to, like, kind of chill with them, but she wasn't. <gasps> you guys, I just hit, like, the side of my game, and now it's, like, all kinds of messed up. So I need to pause my game really quick and reset the like screen size because I can't even I can't even get my my thing down here to like get this oh stuff. Sorry about that. I just could not like reach anything down here. My mouse couldn't see anything because I accidentally clicked out of it. I always freaking do that and I freaking suck at it but whatever whatever so we're gonna go ahead and eat and then she's gonna get oh we're we're not gonna do chattering teeth. We're not gonna do that to him. I don't know how he's actually going to sleep over here, so we're going to go ahead and sell this little lamp, and we're going to try to bring our, oops, bring our plants back inside, have the arrow, we have to have arrow facing out from what I understand, I hope this is right, I don't even know, oh my gosh, come on, that one, then we have this guy, and then we have this guy and then we have our like this guy over here which needs to go upstairs make sure that everything is kind of sort of back to place so there we go um we really don't have a place for a couch or anything along those lines um dish is not good place is here push it back a little bit and we can't really bring i guess we could but we can't really bring the house out that can we i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i guess we no see we can't because it's too close to the edge of the lot so we can't we can't really do anything to help him so we're gonna have to just let him suffer <laughs> He's just gonna have to suffer. Sorry, bro. You're just gonna have to suffer. We don't have the space um, for you to be to be staying here, even though we asked you to. So hopefully you're not too upset about that. I mean, if you are, that really sucks. But sorry. <laughs> I was just hoping that. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. He's gonna actually pick up one of his kids. He's actually gonna pick one of them up. Okay, she's leaving. So he's going to come up here to Miss Salem and I'm not sure what he's going to do, but he's going to pick her up. So he's at least going to show a little bit of attention, maybe. No, no, no. See, the problem is the staircase and it's pissing me off. It's pissing me off. Let me freaking tell you. Okay, what are you doing? You're going to go clean out the litter box. That's totally fine, but there's an issue with the stairs no matter where I put them that nobody can get to the children so unless they're like over here 
I don't think I don't think it's gonna work out the way I wanted it to. But he was trying to show us a little bit of something, so hopefully that's a good thing. All right, I think we might have to. What's going on? Oh, oh, she's still she wants to do this chattering teeth. So whatever, we're just gonna let her. And we're oh. Oh, he's, oh, he's doing it to her. Oh my God. I was thinking it was her to him. Oh, she's pissed. She's so pissed. She's so pissed. Let's cast a good luck charm on him because we're a nice person. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and clean this, uh, flush the toilet. And we're going to, uh, reinforce Scold for playing in the bowl because that is disgusting. So she got tricked by a fairy, a sneaky fairy, sure got the best of Morgan. She can't believe she fell for that. Oh, he's doing all kinds of like fancy flips and tricks. Like, okay. Oh, there he goes again. Like, what is this? What are you doing? Oh, he just turned off our lights. Okay. He must be frugal. Is he frugal? He must be. He absolutely is frugal. I was going to say, he must be. We're going to come over here and smoke the box. Smoke the box, clean the box, feed the bees, and harvest the honey. Why do we have to go all the way to an entire different lot in order to make sure our cat is okay? Just wondering. We just wanted to scold her. Him. Scold him. I just want to make sure everything is good to go. And then we're going to send her off to bed because it is getting a little bit late, I think. Is he going to take care of her? Can we, like, ask for attention. I don't think we can. So actually before she goes to bed, we might have to go ahead and potty train Salem just to make sure because I don't think he's going to do anything to be honest. Oh, wait, wait, he's doing something. What's he doing? He's picking us up. Okay. Okay. He's picking us up. Oh my God, you guys, he actually picked. Oh, he's actually playing with her. Oh, this is just a picture that I, I absolutely need. <laughs> at least he's like playing. He's attacking her with the claws. So at least he's showing some sort of interest. A little bit of interest. You know, he's going to do chattering teeth to us again. This entire time I thought it was her, but it's him. He's trying to give us the chattering teeth. Like how rude. Okay, go ahead and feed her. I mean, she's gonna have to be, she's gonna have to, or potty training her, I meant to say. We're gonna have to feed her and then put her to bed because this poor thing. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to, no, we're not doing chattering teeth. So go here, Salem, go here. Can we do this? Or there we go. Go ahead and feed her on the floor. So what I'm gonna do is just let them go to bed and we will pick up. I guess, we, oh, that's a, that's a nice face, girl. That's a nice face. We will pick up in the morning or afternoon or whenever it is that she wakes up and she's not dying. So, right, see guys, guys, so we are back. She didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so she's not fully rested, but it will be okay. I think the triplets actually age up tomorrow which is insane. Yes, tomorrow. We need to get them potty trained. That is the one thing we need is to be potty trained. That is actually all they need. And then we also have a uh, dead plant we're going to have to dispose of. So I'm just going to have her working on her garden here. I do want her to work on some alchemy, but we really don't have the space for like an alchemy table. So... We're just going to have to work with what we have for now. We're just going to kind of save some of this stuff because uh, we're going to need it. We're definitely going to need it. Uh, she finally finished this terrible painting, so we're going to sell it. Poor girl. All right, so she's... Oh, where's she going? Oh, she's going to go ahead and dispose, dispose, dispose of the dead plant. There we go. We're going to go ahead and sell the painting and we're going to see if we can finish potty training these kiddos because I need to be wrapping this up very, very, very soon. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and pick up Miss Salem. We're going to hold her 
see if we can get her potty trained and get that kind of knocked out. So let's go ahead and potty train her. Uh, she actually doesn't really need to go to the bathroom, but she does need a diaper change. I just am trying so hard to get these so they're not like having the worst trait ever. Um, let me see here. Okay, she's actually going to feed her on the floor, so that's not too terrible. These guys are doing good because they're just kind of like chilling. Uh, come back over here. When you're done, you're going to come over here. Girl, I know you need to shower, but I want to make sure you like potty chain, chain, potty, potty train your children. Sheesh. Change your diaper. Come on. She's so close. I know that you can handle this. Okay. Let's go ahead and potty train her. That's all we need. That's all we need. Yes. Okay. Salem has been potty trained. Maybe these kids will grow up with some decent traits. Like. <laughs> Can we please just have a child that is not going to like be super negative? So even though it's funny to me, they all have the hydrophobic trait, but hopefully we can get something a little, a little decent out of here. Okay, let's see. How much does Jack need to learn? And then I'm going to wrap it up after I kind of see how much they need to learn and I'll just kind of do their potty training off camera because I really do want them to be potty trained so he is halfway so we're gonna probably have to do this a few times with him which he's actually kind of learned pretty quickly so a few times with him go ahead and pick up miss luna and then you come over here dude there we go and we're gonna see how much she needs just so i know what i have to do before i pick up with you guys next so then we're gonna go ahead and potty train miss luna see what see what all she needs see if she's halfway she might not even be oh she oh she's actually way further than i thought way further than i thought still that's not too bad come on girl come on girl you're almost there you're, you're so oh you were so close you were so close but what we're gonna do is just let her kind of take care of her needs because now she's in a really crappy mood let her eat some leftover nachos because that sounds pretty freaking amazing to me i'm not gonna lie um but what i think i'm gonna do is wrap it up right here because we're just gonna have her kind of take care of her needs we're not really going to go outside of the house but in the next part it will be the triplets birthdays which means we're gonna have a whole lot of chaos going on a whole lot more chaos but it'll be a little bit easier because we're gonna have actual children in the house instead of you know toddlers and you know they can take care of themselves we don't have to rely a hundred percent on morgan to take care of them so uh, yes i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here like i said what are you terrified of what, what what's going on what's going on what, what exactly is wrong with you uh but what i said what i'm what 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 i'm saying is we're gonna wrap it up and then i'm going to have three birthdays in the next part we will just probably have a you know just like a simple birthday i'll probably invite draco over hopefully he'll interact it just really sucks but i just really hope he is working really hard like really hard in school maybe he's planning on going to university so he will have money to care for them, you know, in the later years. So we're going to have to see how it goes. You guys let me know what you think about the whole Draco situation because I'm still like up in the air at the fact that he's not helping. I mean, he's slightly like two seconds picked up a child, like two seconds. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe before you go if you've not already. Turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when I upload, which is usually every single day except for Sunday. And as usual, I love you all so very much. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.